how to use canva content planner create schedule and publish content with canva hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can get started with content planning using canva canva is an amazing design tool and we all love to design on canva but you can do a lot more with canva's recent glow up as well and there are so many different integrations available on Canva, including their native content planner. Now, keep in mind that this is only available on the pro version of Canva. So if you are looking to get started with the Canva content planner, make sure to upgrade to the pro. You usually can get a free trial if you're just signing up for the first time. You will get a 30 day free trial of Canva Pro. Now, with the new Canva glow up, the structure of Canva has changed a little bit. And the way that this has changed is that the positioning of the actual content planner has become a little hidden and a lot of people can't seem to find it. But I'll show you guys where you can find your content planner. To find your content planner, simply click on apps on the left. And once you click on apps on the left, you're going to scroll down and then you're going to click on content planner on the bottom. Once you click on content planner on the bottom from here, you can get started with content planning. So you can see you have the option to select a post and connect to Instagram, connect to your Facebook page and so on and so forth. So you can create designs and manage content over here. You can create events and use Canvas Content Planner as a simple way for you to make Instagram posts, make Facebook posts, make X posts, Pinterest, LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn page posts, Slack posts, and Tumblr posts. So basically all of your socials can be covered directly in Canva, especially when I see a lot of brands using a lot of Canva content and they're using Canva content, but they're making their scheduling so expensive by using third party applications and paying them loads of money just to schedule your, your content when you have a inbuilt feature in Canva that can do it for you. So the way that you're going to do this is simply by going into your content planner and then you can create and create a design and add an event. For example, let's say on the Sunday I have a title, I'll add an event. So this is going to be my Sunday madness sale that I want to advertise. And what I'm going to do is because I have now created an event over here, I can proceed with creating a design and selecting a channel where I want to advertise this. So let's say I want to connect to Instagram. I will click on connect to Instagram business via Facebook, and you're just going to continue on to Facebook over here. Once you connect to Facebook, you will have the ability to choose your account and you're going to choose your Instagram account from there. Currently, I'm going to select a different channel simply because we're having some. I've disconnected my business account from Facebook. So keep in mind that whatever Instagram account you have, you do need to connect it to a Facebook account. So if you don't have it connected to a Facebook account, you wouldn't be able to connect it. I'm just going to do Pinterest instead and we're just going to, okay, I'm going to have to refresh my page. So because it's become a bit slow right now, but I'll just go for LinkedIn instead because we're just doing some sample work over here and we're going to authorize Canva. So you guys can see once you have authorized Canva, and given Canva permission, you can write a caption and schedule a post. So instead of wasting tons of time downloading posts from Canva and building folders, then putting those folders in, you know, content planners, you can directly create designs and have their designs be uploaded from here. Now we're going to click on create design. I'm going to click on custom size or I can click on create design. I can search for LinkedIn article or LinkedIn post, and this will give me the optimal size for a LinkedIn post. Once I do that, I can proceed with my LinkedIn posts. So I might want to add daily motivation fueled by happy thoughts, and I can add my LinkedIn account name. So whatever is your LinkedIn account name, you can add that as well. LinkedIn again is a business version of a social media platform. And let's say this is going to be Lily's Guide in voiceovers, and I can just place this on the top, place this like so. Always speak calmly. 
or let's say I just want to do today I'm grateful for today I'm grateful for because those work really well on a lot of platforms so this type of content can be utilized in multiple different spaces I'm just going to expand this make sure this is centered for some reason it's not being centered right now I have no idea why I think it just looks fine over here and today I'm grateful for eyes that can see and then in the background I might want to add an image so I'm going to go into elements and I'll just search for frame over here click on see all and once I do that I'm just going to select this type of frame and I might want to flip this frame so I'm going to click on this we have corner rounding border styles I don't have the option to flip the frame instead I'm just going to have to rotate no the image is going to be rotated alongside it so I'm going to have to find the opposite angle for this because this is I want a shape that looks like this so I'm just going to find a frame that could fit in this or that would just look nice in this I'm just going to go into frames here and I think I will have to Go with something slightly different like this one i still don't like this i'm gonna keep on searching so i am just going to go ahead scroll down go into frames and then go into basic shapes and in the basic shapes we have frames like these we have a lot of different styles of frames this is going to work really nicely i think and then i'm just going to expand it over here place it like so then from the original design, I'm just going to edit it a little, click on images, and I can just go ahead, go into elements, and then search for, I'm just going to search for beautiful beauty, go into photos, and I'm going to search with a simple or scenery and I'm just gonna go for landscape and I'll just add the beautiful landscape over here I'll delete the background block and you know you can adjust the readability of your text and whatnot you can do all of that and then just click on schedule on the top right you can select your sales channel not on your sales channel but your social media channel and you can write something so whatever fits your LinkedIn profiles vibe so Whatever vibe that you are giving off on LinkedIn, let's say that I like to write a short note about my day or about my work so I can write that and then just click on schedule over here. Once I click on schedule, my post will be scheduled on LinkedIn and I don't have to download it. I don't have to do anything. Instead, everything is organized in my content planner. And you can easily use any of your pre-existing designs and schedule them as well. And in your content planner, you also can integrate other applications. So on the left, you have applications that you can integrate into Canva. You have HR, marketing, and other applications that can help you in further optimization. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.